Hey, uh, this video, oops, sorry, almost dropped you. Uh, this video is to, um, Freya06. Uh, sorry I haven't gotten a video in a while, I haven't had the time. Um, so, uh, here goes. Um, there is a website, I'll try to put it in the description, or annotate it or something. Uh, www.allaboutcircuits.com forward slash worksheets forward slash index dot html uh, and you probably don't want to type that so I'll put that in the description for you uh, but anything but anyways what uh, you should really learn for the ASVAB um, first off start off with static electricity you'll get um, a, that's pretty much as basic as you need to get um, and on this website there is static electricity, voltage, current, and resistance, conductors and insulators. Uh, you want to know your um, circuitry, like what it looks like, uh, know how to read a circuit, and uh, know the voltage and current um, equations and, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, you want to know your switches, your resistors, uh, basic circuits, and yeah, uh, I don't know, just pretty much learn some basics and some, some uh, mid-level stuff. Uh, the reason I say some mid-level stuff is because they don't really ask you you know, who's the brainiac, who knows everything about electronics, they're just trying to test you to see how apt you are to retain that knowledge. Um, that's why they called it an aptitude battery. Uh, just a test to see how well you can, you how well you take to that knowledge. Um, so, right, learn about static electricity, uh, your voltage, your current, uh, your resistance, learn what all those do uh, and how they're made. Um, know all the uh, uh, symbols for, like when you see a circuitry, they'll put like little circuits on the uh, test and they'll show, you know, like X amount of ohms and, and something V, which means voltage, uh, and ohms is like the sign for omega in Greek. I'm not really sure, certain if that's what it's called, um, but it's one ohm or whatever, however many ohms. Um, learn how to switch back and forth between, uh, what do you call it? I, I can't think of the word. Um, anyways, um, so yeah, static electricity voltage, resistance, and current. Uh, learn what resistors do. Uh, it might not be such a bad idea to learn the universal color code, um, which isn't really on here, but uh, yeah. Universal color code, you might not need to know that. Uh, you'll, if you're going into any electronics department, you'll definitely learn it. Um, but I don't know if they'll ask you that, but it may be okay to learn it. It's not too hard. It's like one through, or zero through eight, I think. Uh, or no, no, no. Yeah, but anyways, do some research and you'll find it out. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Uh, learn some switches. The reason I say that is because there's faders. There's, you know, light switches that you see very common in your house. Um, but I actually, I was reading a book, and I can't just give you this book because, I mean, it's just... Uh, let me show you. What this is, is this. It's that thick. It's a binder. So I can't really uh, do a whole lot for you there. And I went to the website that was that it was printed off of and it's like not even in existence anymore so 
uh, sorry I can't really help you out there I can't give you the same resources I, I had um, but what I did was I read about it and a knife switch is has no insulation I don't know how often they ask this question but I read that and I thought I was like I don't care about switches and I was reading through that and uh, I remember when I took the test I was like I read that straight out of this book um, that a knife it was like which switch doesn't have any uh, insulation or protection and uh, it was like this switch this switch this switch and a knife switch and I was like oh that's a knife switch I know it uh, so it's you know it definitely helps out the more you know the better you are uh, taking this test uh, learn about batteries um, you know how they work and all that stuff learn about the path of the circuit or the path of electricity um, and learn why it travels in that in that direction um, and what happens if it doesn't uh, or if something's messed up um, so this this website is you know it looks like it'll be very helpful um, so yeah I hope the best for you and uh, you know just study away uh, uh, and something that you should also learn AC and DC learn those uh, and I think that's about it learn the difference between AC and DC and everything I just told you before and the best time I found to study this sort of stuff because one reading bores the crap out of me and reading on a computer is even worse um, so what I had done was before I went to bed for about 45 minutes to an hour two hours or something I only recommend about 45 minutes um, read as much as you can do not continue forward if you don't understand what you just read man I cannot stress that enough because if once you're lost and you don't get it and you keep going you're not gonna get anything after that it's make sure you understand Google any question you want and you know you'll you'll come across something that helps you out uh, this is unnecessarily long video I apologize um, but you know 45 minutes before bed uh, your brain will retain it a lot better um, and make sure you're not wanting to get up and move around make sure you know you're you went to the bathroom beforehand you uh, you ate so you're not thinking about something else because you really need to focus on this stuff um, and there you have it study away uh, and I hope this video helps you out um, and you know like I said I wish I could give you the same resources that I had or resource that I had but uh, you know I simply can't um, but this this looks like a pretty good website and I'm confident you can learn a lot from it um, but anyways have a good one and uh, I hope you the best bye